morning, uh, we're going to use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of this function, y equals the square root of 1 over x times the quantity x plus 1. And so we'll take the first step is to take the logarithm, natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y equals the natural log, the square root of 1 over x times x plus 1. Uh, this is a power of 1 half. Uh, the square root over the argument, so I can bring that out in front, and I get the natural log equals uh, the natural log of y equals one half times the natural log of one. Uh, this is a quotient minus one half times the natural log of x times x plus one. What's well, the natural log of one? Hopefully, you know that's zero. So that just kind of goes away. And then we have negative 1 half. We have a product here of arguments. So we can break that up into the natural log, one, negative 1 half times the natural log of x minus 1 half times the natural log of x plus 1. Now we can take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of the natural log of y with respect to x is uh, y prime over y or 1 over y times y prime, however you think of it, uh, minus 1 half times 1 over x, derivative of the natural log of x, minus 1 half times the derivative of the natural log of x plus 1 is 1 over x plus 1. Um, now we uh, multiply both sides by y, and we get y prime equals y times um, trying to figure out, um, I'm just going to bring that one half out in front, um, negative one half times negative one half times uh, one over x plus one over x plus one. And then I'm going to substitute back in for y prime, I mean for y, solve for y prime and I get uh, let me put that constant in front, it looks better. Uh, negative 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 over um, x times x plus 1. And then a common denominator, I would get, um, I'm trying to think of if I even want to do that. I don't even want to do that, I'm just going to leave it like this. You can get a common denominator if you want. I've been told that the art of simplifying derivatives has been lost. No one's asking you to do it anymore. Although solutions manuals do, so I don't know. Maybe if I get bored, I'll make another video and do that one. But that's that's essentially the derivative. You'll be fine with that. Um, main thing is is how to do logarithmic differentiation.